This is Gaming with the Master with part 17 of Fossil Fighters. Let's get to it. Last episode we leveled up, became a level 5 fighter, and now we started a new chapter of the BB Boss Revealed. So we're now a level 5 fighter, but if you look at that, it says the level 6 Dig Site Mount Lava Flow is now available. So we will not be going to Mount Lava Flow until we are a level 6 fighter. So we placed another tacky idol onto the shelf. And now we're going to head out of the hotel. The hotel manager stops us and says that there's another seminar going on at Rivet Ravine. I will be attending that, but I will not record that. But I will tell you what it is that happened during the video after... I've completed it, so it should be about part 19 or something. So when we walk out of the hotel, an officer stops us and asks us, asks us to follow him to the police station. While there, Bulwart says that Rosie has been kidnapped, and that there's been a note from the kidnapper saying that we have to bring the idols to the park area. So now we're going to head back to our hotel room to grab the idols. So now that we've grabbed the idols, we're going to head to the dock in the park area. And when we get to the park area, there's a boat sitting at the dock. So when we go to the dock, there's a BB soldier there and attacks us, so we're going to have to fight him, and he is using a Stygi, a Margo, and a Nitus, which are all fire types, so this should be an easy battle since we're using all water vivisaurs. So Margo uses a Margo combo. Which scares Shoney, so Shoney can't use all of its skills, but we won't be using Shoney anyways, so we're going to use Corona Bite against a Margo. And it does 92 damage. Then a Margo uses a Margo combo again, and scares again and does 53 damage and swaps out for Nightjust. So we're going to use Corona Bite, and if you noticed, our FP recharge is now 120, and Nightjust is knocked out with one blow with 93 damage. And then Stygie uses Fiendish Missile, which does a critical 37 damage. So we're going to use Corona Bite against Stygie, which knocks Stygie out. And then we're going to use Elasmo Tackle since we have enough FP to do that, which does 76 damage. And then Amargo uses Blazing Doom, which does 45 damage. So now we're going to use Corona Bite, which 
does 88 damage. So Shoni's LP increased by 2, Corona's LP also increased by 2, along with Elasmo's, Spinax's LP increased by 1, and Ventner's increased by 2. So there's an autopilot button, so we're going to press that and the boat's going to take us somewhere. And that place is the BB base. So this place itself is the actual level 5 dig site, but we will not be digging here. So we go up the stairs, and there are BB soldiers there. So if we run into one, they're going to attack us. And then we run into Rex. So we'll have to battle him. So Rex will be using a Megath, a Noto, and a Xeno. Which is Rex's stereotypical Vivasaurs that he uses. So Rex attacks first and uses slow combo against Shoney, which confuses Shoney. So Shoney swaps out for a Lasmo because. She Shoney was confused, and then we're going to use Elasmo Tackle against Noto, which does 33 damage. And then Megath uses Slow Combo again, which does 58 damage, and confuses, and confuses Elasmo. Then Elasmo uses Elasmo Combo against Noto, which is good because that's what I wanted Elasmo to do. And it does a critical 52 damage. The reason why I'm attacking Noto instead of Megath is Noto has a support effect that raises your def defense and basically it doubles that Vivasaur's defense. So instead of attacking Megath, which would take forever, I'm attacking Noto and then going to attack Megath. So Elasmo swaps out for Shoney when Shoney comes out of the easy and this is Shoney's torpedo attack. Which does 31 damage and defeats Noto. So now that support effect is gone, so we're free to attack Megath at will. So Megath uses Slow Fury, which does 129 damage and confuses. Then Xeno uses Reaper, which does 12 damage. So, Shoney uses Torpedo Attack against Megath, and it does 27 damage. So, Megath uses Slow Combo, which confuses Shoney, and then Xeno uses Reaper, which misses. So Shoney uses Snapping Jaws against Megath, which does 40 damage. But I'm going to swap Shoney out for Elasmo, since if I if I have a Vivasaur attacking from the AZ, I don't want it to be Shoney. So Megath uses Slow Combo, but does not confuse. So we're going to use Corona Bite. Which does 48 damage. And then Megath uses slow combo. Which confuses Elasmo. And it does 67 damage. And Shoney comes out of the S. Out of the easy. And swaps Corona out for its place. So I'm going to use Corona Bite. And it should defeat Megath. And it does. So Xeno uses Slicer, 
and misses. So I'm going to use Corona Bite. And it does 77 damage. Then Zeno uses Cleaver and misses. So I'm going to use Corona Bite, and this should hopefully win us the battle. And it does. So we defeated Rex. And we got six battle points. And Shoney's LP increased by nine, along with Corona's. And Elasmo's LP increased by seven. Spinax is also increased by seven, along with Ventners. So now we're going to go up another floor, and there we run into Snivels. So we're going to have to battle Snivels. And Schnivels is using an Orno, an Acro, and a Karchar. So, this battle could go either way, even though I know I'm going to win. So, Schnivels attacks first, but saves up FP, so we're going to use Corona Bite. And it does 51 damage. Then Snivel saves up FP again, so we're going to use Corona Bite again. And it does 51 damage again. So Snivels uses Earthen Blast, which is Karchar's team abil team skill. So it does 97 damage, 44, and 44 damage. So now we're going to use Corona Bite against Karchar, which does 55 damage, and then Elasmo Tackle, which does 43 damage, and it's enough to defeat Karchar, so now Schnivels cannot use a team skill. So Acro uses Acro Fury, and it does a critical 146 damage and excites Shoney, so Shoney cannot move into the EZ now. So we're going to use Corona Bite against Acro, and it does 56 damage. Then Orno uses Orno Combo, which does 21 damage but does not confuse. So I'm going to use Corona Bite against Acro, and it does 57 damage, and then Elasmo Tackle, also against Acro, and it does 45 damage. So Orno swaps up for, for Acro, and then... Saves up FP, so we're going to use Corona Bite against Orno. And it does 60 damage. Then Orno uses Orno Combo, which does 40 damage and does not confuse. So we're going to use Corona Bite again, and it does 61 damage. So Acro comes out of the EZ, but both of them are very weakened, so it doesn't really matter if you swap them out because I'm going to use Corona Bite to defeat Acro, and then Elasmo Tackle to defeat Orno. So we just beat Schnivels. And Spinax ranked up to a, a level 9, or rank 9, and his LP and attack increased by 8, 
defense increased by four. And Shoni's LP increased by ten. Corona's LP increased by nine. Or Lasmo's LP increased by eight. Ventner's increased by seven. So Snivels falls over and then says that why do we always beat him and then gets up and runs away. So with that, that will conclude today's episode of Fossil Fighters Part 17. Join us next time for Fossil Fighters Part 18.